Once again, we have come for a reaction. So, this one comes from a Mr. Michael Hoback. You know what? We go call this the the, the, the Mike Hoback series. Okay? This is part of the Mike Hoback series. Mike Hoback request series. You know? Um, matter of fact, I'm going to start doing that. Like, if, if, if you guys send me requests like more than one, I'm going to make a series about it. And I'll put your name in the title. I, I mean, I know that's like really nothing. <laughs> But I don't know. I mean, it might be good just to see your name come up as a part of something. I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all think about that idea. You know what? I'll take a little uh, a vote on that. If you guys like that idea, just put it in the comment below, yay or nay. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So we got an epic rap battle of history between Theodore Roosevelt and Winston Churchill. Thanks to Michael Holbeck, we will be watching this with me for the first time. Let's go. That's the track. Winston Churchill. Winston. Theodore Roosevelt. Bully a challenge. I love competition. Now where would I mount the stuffed head of a Winston? I'm in the front of stick and ditch it through an isthmus. Well, riding down a Cuba line. What's up, bitches? I keep my rhymes pure. <laughs> Uh, uh, food and drug. I'm an American stock and you're the British Alma I mean for Christ's sake look at that mug at least grow a spruce mustache and cover part of it up and let's face it you're not all that great you tossed away lives in Gallipoli like there were scraps off your plate your whole miserable country is the size of one state and see my way to running that without donning my pants now you go toe to toe with me you bloated drunk old man why don't you just go on over to a 12 step club on the trust fund lush with my American American muscle to walk softly over here and give my big stick a suckle. Pass me a cigar and a large glass of brandy. I'm about to take you up prematurely, like your family. I am oh. the prime minister, fresh in a hat and dinner jacket. You look like a mix of Epic Lloyd and a Pringles packet. I was saving the planet from an axis of darkness while you were back home opening national parks. Yes. You were born asthmatic. You're going to choke hard while I wake up every day and chain smoke cigars. Oh. I'll fight you on the beaches. I'll Fight you on the beach, yes. Anywhere you want to fight, I'll fight you and I'll beat you. See, I might be back, wow. even though I'm toasted, that but tomorrow cool I'll be sober and you'll still be roasted. My parents died when they were young and it was morbid, but at least they didn't ditch me when they were alive, like yours did. Oh shit, okay. World War too soon. We'll tell you it's dropping bombs, so you best go hand you do. You should be ashamed of your military honor. Everyone knows you're back at home, like thank God for Pearl Harbor. Don't worry, the US will give you a Pass. Just change your poster to keep calm and kiss my cousin's ass. Teddy there, I don't think it's very fair for a British bulldog to melee with a teddy bear. You're no man, you're an overgrown boy scout. I should stuff you in a pram just so you can throw your toys out. They put your fat head on a mountain to save face, but if Rushmore was a band, then you'd play bass. Look at Bruce about, the dude's about to lose the bout to church in. A bullet to the chest won't stop you, my words will. A bullet can't stop the bull moose! TR will give double, you see, the full do. Whatever shit you throw at me, I'll just return to sender! I'll battle to the end and I will never surrender! Who won? Who's You just saw! What? 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 Yo, I first off, that was popping. That was hot. Um, Winston Churchill. I think Winston got that. I like Winston's flow. I like the way he flipped. He flipped. He flipped things. It was hot. I like it. His was more cool, yet. How can I explain it? Winston's, Winston's delivery was cool, yet direct. 
You know what I mean? It was like, yeah, you can talk all that nonsense, but you know what? End of the day, it's all me. You know, and I liked it. And uh, Teddy, Teddy wrote. Tr had some. He had some. He had some joints. But I just like the way Churchill flipped his joints a little. His his rhymes a little bit better. So to me, it was Winston Churchill. Good looking on this mic. Hold back. Um, as usual, came through again, man, with another entertaining one. <clears throat> um, there's another request. You wanted me and my cousin Marcus to do something, a reaction to something, and uh, we will we will try to get up to do that soon. Um, you know, we live a ways from each other, so. Uh, but when we do, hey, man, you'll be the first one to know, of course, because your alerts will go off on your YouTube channel, on your, 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 your YouTube thing. Damn, I'm getting tongue-tied. Uh, but till then, people, post your comments below. Let me know what you thought of the rap battle between Teddy Roosevelt and Winston Churchill. Let me know who you thought won. Let me know if uh, there's anything you want me to watch. I'll check it out and give it a look-see, in my opinion. Um... Once again, Mike Holback, good looking on this one. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the share button. And also, leave a little something to let me know if you guys like that idea. If you make multiple requests, then I just make a whole request series after you. You know what I'm saying? Um, peace, people.